forward. Let's go. Don't rest there. Now we're good. Scam. Nope. Like I tragically say, I have successfully failed. I successfully failed at get successfully failed at getting the most meme worthy, the probably the most meme worthy contact interaction in the entire game. Whoops. The interaction would have been Katya pulling out a, a guitar as Ulala begins to flamingo dance. But apparently, that was interaction you had to unlock, and I didn't know that. <laughs> so, you ain't gonna see that. <laughs> Complete with Ulala even putting a rose in her mouth during the flamingo dancing. So, that's where the guitar comes from. I've seen the guitar portion somewhere long ago. Give me a card and F off. All right, they're all right. They're back on off. All, all, all your physical damn it. Pantheon. That's the stay play. Nothing else. Nothing else really worth much. The thing I want to know that's why weird is more about the re tell the Rex where some of the Rex will just. Like, I understand it was like a JP only game, but there are still directs that will have announcements for things that have worldwide releases and they just won't have a trailer in the English version of direct. I just don't know at this point, I don't get it, but this game already has English version that works. For example, yeah, when the direct happened, uh, there was an announcement trailer for a remake of the first Atelier game. But despite the fact that from the get-go it has a worldwide release, they didn't announce it in our direct. And I was like, huh? Which I was on Twitter flipping out that I couldn't freaking tweet about it because it's freaking like they just casually announced a remake to the first Atelier game. What? And it turns out they announced that direct and they couldn't get to see it. It's like how uh, Atelier Daisa 2 had uh, its first trailer show off in a direct. But it didn't show it off in the English direct or in the Japanese one. Now it's also a game that's confirmed to be to, to be to be worldwide by that point. Listen, l listen, demons. Only we are good at killing ourselves. You can't kill us. We kill us. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, there's also the Pokemon Presents, which... It's a spike ping announcement for a Pokemon related thing. I couldn't even find anyone even, ta even mentioning it for a good several hours. I'm like, a Pokemon thing got teased and no one's even talking about it. And I'm like, what? Huh? There should be people all over that. And the answer was that we're all over that. They just also weren't all over at the exact same time. It's just like, what? Ooh, Chaos Element is the freaking darkness equivalent to freaking Hieroglyphon. Boy. I said boy. That's nuts. Alright, I'm gonna punch him. We're gonna punch him to death. We're gonna punch you to death. So here's a question. How many tries do you think a franchise should get? How many failures do you think a franchise should be allowed to have before the publisher th decides to cancel a franchise forever? Three. Do you believe in old franchises should be at some point eventually brought back, even after, even if the last one that came out was disappointment sales-wise, or yeah. for financial? I was about to say you said no. I'm like, really? How are you doing that Death Space remake? <laughs> you said no. Like, how are you doing that Death that Death Space remake that came out after the EA was disappointed? Death Space, Death Space three sales numbers. <laughs> Or the fact that they're disappointed at Dead Space 2 sales numbers because they spent way more money on advertising than they did on the actual effing game. <laughs> or Atlas Madness Returns, where they also spent more money on advertising than they did on the game. Something that also pissed off the developers of the game. Yes, American McGee did not like how Atlas Madness Returns was advertised because EA advertised it as this big action horror game. It's like it's not like that at all. What are you doing? Not only that, they use these fancy, expensive CG cutscenes in order to advertise the game. And it's like, but the in-game cutscenes don't look like that. At all. The ones in-game are more stylish and fit with the whole entire thing of the Alice in Wonderland. And, and he, says, well, he says the best part, they're also cheap to make. As opposed to these over-the-top CG, CG trailers that don't represent what the game's actually going to be like. I mean, look at Infamous. Infamous cutscenes, well, the important cutscenes to be exact, are told through this comic book style, which fits the fact that the whole point of Infamous is to be like whole entire comic book superhero kind of thing. It also helps. It's also cheap to make. Efficient, stylish, and cheap. Those are those are beautiful things. I'm trying to say. And cheap tomatoes are beautiful, th beautiful things to put together. I know some people think they're just cheap and don't sell the style, which I'm like, what's wrong, what's wrong with you? Comic book cutscenes for a game trying to be like comic, like comic book superhero. To the poor infamous also does have comic, at it, does have com, does have comics. Ikichi. Isn't that nice? He's still asleep. Put him down. So the forecast would never. <laughs> so the forecast would never yell at those shadows. Like I'm just, I'm not, I'm not trying to. Listen, I'm not trying to throw shade or nothing. <laughs> P forecast would never. I ain't the first one to make that joke. Woo.
Why should you even try to do that? You're freaking. You're freaking. You try to use a charm spell when you're here. Uh, I mean, I don't shade. That's just give himself saying that. Mm hmm. I didn't say nothing. Of course, the body of man freaking. I'm freaking not a tap blocks fire blocks blocks uh darkness. She also have her heal. I'm trying to find you with Noma Kaiser. Uh, going first like that, I might change the order. Time so they can fully go first instead. And just block whatever they throw at us. Then they're gonna instance, they decide to just immediately decide to turn off their brain, okay. Also, no fair. Why are why, why them? Why the shell versus bosses have way more HP than our actual party does? Uh, It'd be like that. Oh my god, what is already almost dead? Now they're both already almost dead. What do you guys just kill Shao Katya? Of course he blocks nuclear! Is it simply because because it's because Tatsuya's elements are firing nuclear, or that's a coincidence? Maybe. <laughs> Probably coincidence. Oh, and I'm really going first again. Okay. Like it worked. It just is to kill. I thought I won't block. That doesn't matter. I'm gonna just tank. I'm gonna just tank this. It'll be fine. She's dead.
she? He's not awake. For the time being, we're safe. Well, are you sure about this, Tatsukun? If you have any memories of you, he's your friend, right? It's okay. Hey, look, Philemon. Oh no. I will return him to the real world. I am sorry, but taking him with you to take him with you is exactly what he wants. It is hard, but move on. Monoku, you said anger is shadow's source of power, didn't he? Sorry, but I don't think I can hold myself back. I don't care how much I'm upset or despised, but I can't sit here and watch everyone suffer. I will protect this side, everyone's memories. I've never been so angry for someone else in my life. Why did Tatsuki couldn't do to deserve this? I'm on a, a little group here is a bunch of barbarians. You better, be, you better be prepared. I like the fact that Philemon shows up. You're merely like, oh no. <laughs> Just on instinct, you're like, oh great, what is, what is, what does he want? <laughs> Let's go. What do we got? Jealous. Look at that thing in the back. Look at that, look at that motherfucker in the back. Look at him. What the hell? <laughs> look at that thing just chilling and vibing in the back. That's the only that's the little things that we can wait to go get into. It's about darkness here. Jesus. So many things keep a fucking light. I don't like it. Good thing and change your order. Let's yeah, do something else. Oh, we'll do friends instead. Let's go again, sure. Again, sure. I think Katya truly believes that him flashing his badge will actually do anything. Yeah. I just got that one meme image of Katya flashing his badge to a, <laughs> to a Jack Frost. Jack Frost like, I didn't do anything. Staff and people like, wow, just a weapon of Funimation. It truly, truly, Crunchyroll was in fact bought out by Funimation. Oof. Karusan, 
investigator who was brought for his partner was again Tian Tiao Lian. She was killed by Young Pao in Taiwan. Mickey? Is that Mickey san? Kaho Saga, I am you. What is yours is also mine. Please. Stop it! Do you feel the anger inside of you? Who is it for? I'll give you your answer. In this woman's blood. Why you? You fucking bastard! Mmm. <laughs> I, I God, I honestly don't know what to pick for this one. Fuck. Mmm. Reminder, do you trust him? That's all I'll say. Don't do it. Okay. Me. It's not Tatsuo, not Young Pao, or you. The one I can't forgive is me. I'm sorry, Miki. That time I was just a hot shot. I wasn't able to do anything. I should have gotten you involved. It was my fault that you died that day. It wasn't the persona. It wasn't the law. It was me. It was my fault. I was so damn selfish. Don't blame yourself. I knew the risk I was taking. You never looked back. You always believed you were right. I like that person. How pathetic. Everything's out in the open. Now you see, I was planning to use you guys from the beginning. Somewhere inside, I knew that I couldn't do it, could do anything by myself. <laughs> hey, I want revenge so bad, I couldn't do it myself. I didn't even give you my real name. I think that's a nice name. I think it's a cool name. I think that's a nice ring to it. I was thinking, and now it's clear. Kyra Saga died on duty five years ago. And in front of me is a completely different person than the one we saw. A bit misguided, perhaps. A free spirit, a lovable lush. Did you forget twist? Did you forget twisted person? Don't put me in the same shot class, these sentimental wussies. And you know what, Suo? You're not cut out to be a police officer, but this case was supposed to be. Wholesome. Man, I remember when I was, when I was all dressed up at that matchmaking party? Well, the Wang Long Kyo came up with today the day of faithful meetings. Maybe it was right. Well, um, you know, there's a lot in life. Jeez, what anti-social Baofus... Jeez, what anti-social Baofus... There's a cool... There's a difficult time. I never met anyone like this guy before. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally met this guy, in fact. I was about to say, excuse me? <laughs> He's literally met this guy in that one flashback in Essence Sin. <laughs> Oof. There's literally one flash of innocent sin where his, just, where his little kid Tatsuya and June and this one drunken guy walks up. That was that was Balfu. Wow. That drunken guy was Balfu. This reminder: the entire playable cast in Eternal, Eternal Punishment, you met them at some point in innocent sin. Jeez. Yeah, 
Let's get rid of cards and stuff off. We're now in the world of emotion. Uh, who could be the world of emotion? about you hear a lot of if you didn't want x or y thing to happen then you shouldn't have no, no, you didn't want x thing to happen then you should have instead they should they should have, they should have not throw not throw money not throw money at y do you feel like these statements actually hold any actual merit or it's just some random crap people people say it trying to sound smart both let me just say both Sometimes it's just ass talking, other times it could be factual. I always see that a lot of if you didn't want this, you shouldn't have thrown money at that. It's like, but that's the thing you're talking about is something that is way harder to control than with the individuals you're talking to. Like, for example, if you want GTA 6, you shouldn't have thrown so much money at GTA Online. It's like, one, that's who the person you're talking to did throw money at GTA Online. And two, one person alone does not overpower the sheer amount of the sheer amount of thousands of millions of people throwing money at GTA Online. Well, true. So that's why I say it feels like something people just talk just talking out of their butt on everything stuff seems, seems smarter. Because in reality, what you're asking to happen won't happen. It's like there are some people who say boycott, ne boycott never work, and the reason being because, well, you may doing a boycott, your average Joe doesn't even, either doesn't care or has no idea what you're talking about, especially if said boycott has to do with freaking internet drama. I'm glad he made it here without dying. Of course, it would be dope for you to die so easily. Now, Maya Mano, after coming here, what are you angry at? I'm just sad. Hmm, how's the mental? What are you so sad about? Now go ahead and shoot. Deep down inside, I know you hate me. Pull the trigger. Well then, I'll say the one thing you want to hear the least. The young man who holds your heart, he's mine. He's a torn in shape of a human. He'll never be yours. Never. Don't. Hmm, <sighs> this will be studying to watch. How long can you keep this up? Monkey, stay strong. He's trying to coast the shadows of our hearts to gain power. I finally understand. It's all right. The sadness won soon. It's definitely, it's definitely a human. The way he looks down on others, that's the thing only humans can do. Huh. All right, I'll tell you with you. It's another human. Going through all this, you're not supposed to get upset. I ain't no nun or priest. I can't stand it. Production. Good. Okay, it's something. Do you ever feel like there's certain franchises have become too big to the point where it's impossible for them to fail? And I mean like truly hardcore fail, like fail. No. 
Like, do you think there could be a point where the Dragon Ball franchise can put out such st stuff that's so low quality that the franchise completely falls apart and dies? I doubt it. There you go. There you say. That, that's the idea. You just felt like there are certain things that are impossible for the fall, fall. But, like, I put the idea, okay, well, something like this ends up eventually falling down because it's a giant, because it's a titan. And you're like, nah, you don't see the idea of it falling apart. So one of those things where some things just too big to the point where people were able to always have a, a, a successful they enough fan base, no matter what happens. Like, do you think there will ever be a point where Pokemon will fail and the series dies? Uh, unfortunately not. Why do you mean unfortunately? F you mean unfortunately. <laughs> eh. <laughs> you mean unfortunately enough? What the fuck am I do to you? I'm just not into it. I don't care about it. Yeah, that's, just, that's, that's a different. That's, in saying unfortunately not, it means you, just, means you don't like it. That's why you're like, sadly I won't die. Like the unfortunate part implies you want it to die. No. Yeah, it's a feel that some things are such too big. Like, do you feel like, I feel like freaking Grand Theft Auto can ever die? As Maybe. The as an entire, I mean, as an entire franchise. Maybe. Maybe. What do you feel could possibly happen that could make potentially call off Grand Theft Auto? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I find weird. Like, game industry is the highest grossing media for, for me, me, media style of, of the current day. How can we never see something like freaking... Oh, look at this big film that's quote-unquote trying to emulate what games have done. Or trying to be a... Trying to be a you have games that like try to be like a movie or a book. You know something that's like a film or a book trying to be like a video game? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've had certain things try and gamify things, like for example, the freaking famous what also may not be trash, language app Duolingo, that tries to gamify the idea of learning another language, and may or may not also be trash and completely pull up its own butt. Said by the said by the create the creator of the freaking app, <laughs> mind you, so by the person who made the damn thing. It's like how that one, what was it, Black Mirror or something? That was like, is this thing, where is this thing? It's like it's a video game. I'm like, it's a choose your own adventure thing. It sounds incredibly basic. Why are people flipping out over it as if it's some weird new invention? And people are like, oh my god, I'm like, bro, people have done that with YouTube videos back, back in my day when you're able to link YouTube videos together. Okay, Mr. Fancy. Can we punch him to death? No, we cannot. What the fuck? Hmm? You need a very specific persona that will automatically trigger a conversation with this guy, which will then allow you to actually fight it. Otherwise, it is literally impossible to fight him. Oh, that's cool. Otherwise, you literally can't do anything. You just have run away. I 
guess that's not the way to block them. That's it for Seed Game. Talk to you. Here's a question, do you feel like, do you feel like everything needs to always keep innovating or do you feel at some point just need to stop? I mean it depends. And you feel like with like next newer next gen consoles, like how for example, do you feel like how Nintendo keeps trying to make some overly unique way to interact with their console is actually beneficial or a downside? Mmm, can be both. It's like Tenno always tries to now we want some sort of spin to make the console unique but also creates things where things land horribly to the point where it just makes the console frustrating more frustrating to actually use and or actually develop for. Like, it's like it's always hilarious when people be like, why can't insert games just be on Switch? That's like because Switch is specifically its own different hardware that also needs to be worked differently compared to other consoles. Why some companies don't want to put in the effort to actually make a Switch version because it requires more effort for, in theory, maybe profit, but I haven't guaranteed profit. Which is people like to say, but it's the Switch effect, not the F5. That's what Vita fans will say. What happened to Vita? I mean, it's like how, like, like it's weird with the idea how the Switch was designed with trying to be this system like everyone will use, everyone can use, and like trying to be more, everyone will use this, it's not just a kitty console, which I thought was the problem with the Wii U and the uh, Wii, even though the Wii was always, was always advertised as a, a, a for everyone console. We, we, we fell f on that f department hard. Because ads may seem like parents just don't understand the Wii U. And it's like, bro, don't understand the Wii U, not even you. 